Today, I went to my local railroad station, and I found this. Lovely insulators. Mm, very nice. This is a lightning arrester. Oh, that's alright. This is a lightning arrester, size of my hand, right here. That's how big it is. It's, it's not too small. I removed it off the power pole, and there was no danger sign at the railway station, so I just went into it. I bypassed the tracks, and um, I got this. Uh, so I ripped it. I, I didn't rip it off. I bolted off the power pole. It's a bit broken here. It's by some idiot dropping it. Um, but they're quite cool, aren't they? Lovely. This is rubbery stuff. Let's put it here you can nice rubber. Um, so I think this is your ground or earth mainly, and um, the top is where you attach the cable. And I am correct because that is the input wire. I think it goes into here. Yeah, it does. It goes into here. Sorry, no, there we go, just goes into there and that's either the output for the ground, it's probably a ground actually, but um, how a arrestor works is it holds to uh, not, yeah, toll, yeah, this is what it's rated for, it's give a arrestor, Ohio Brass, KV, Variac Maniac would definitely know what these ratings are. Well, I guess it's the top rating, 12,000 volts, um, probably alternating current, maximum, that's how much it can hold, and I think that's operating 10.2 uh, kV, so uh, 1,200 volts, oh yeah, 1,200 volts, I think that's just the um, normal operating I think it's made in 2007, so this isn't too old. Um, uh, yeah, probably yeah, 10, 11 years. It's 11 years old now, so happy 11th birthday. Um, that goes up here. Ah, stupid. Ah, fucking thing. It goes up there, and that sort of goes here. Right. Waffle, waffle. This is a big one. Very heavy, these things. But this beauty. This is my hand, as I showed you. This is massive. I do not know how much this holds, but I can tell you it holds a lot. Probably maybe 12,000 volts like that. Um, and I guess this is a circuit breaker, and it clips into here. But I, this has got a chip in its insulator. But um, I guess the circuit breaker goes into here. It, it compresses a bit and it blows off if there's a short circuit. So it flip fits into there and it pushes up against the spring here. That's how contact is made. And the wire goes here. The other wire goes there. I, I snapped off the other wire. Couldn't be bothered holding it. So lovely. And this clips onto the power pole, I'm pretty sure. Um, good find, I'm pretty happy about that. And this is not too light either, this is a little bit heavy. Um, here's the chip. Just a little one. It's not like the whole thing's broken. It's not like Variac Maniac's one, which is a nice crack in it, but good find. It's a bit rusted because the power poles originally came down probably three, four years ago. And they were sitting there, and I always had an intention to find them and take the insulators off, so I did. Um, so three, four years sitting on the ground, and held up quite well. It's got a bit of rust here. A bit of rust everywhere, but the spring action still goes. It goes quite well, actually. Surprisingly, it's not seized. Um, but awesome. 
I didn't get to find the fuse. Which they probably took the fuses out and scrapped them or whatever they do with fuses. Very maniac would know, I guess. But I found these. And I plan to do another find. So if you want to look at the part, here's the part number of the insulator. C30407. So. And these were both on the same pole. Yes, these were both on the same pole. So these were both on the same um, electricity line. So that's your lightning arrestor there, and that's your fuse or circuit breaker or cutout, as the Americans say, I guess. Um, but yeah, this used steel or whatever, or zinc plate or some sort of plated material only rusted a little bit. And the wire's oxidized, as per normal, and that's oxidized too, so that was probably copper. Um, but it's alright, it held through, ready for me to pick up. Right, and in a few days I plan to go and get a hacksaw and cut some uh, cut some regular pole insulators off. So, um, not too much. Pretty happy, um, but this is, this is enough today. So, uh, until next time, thank you for watching.